I was flying. Beautiful. Tell me what you see now. Where are you? Flying over a forest. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe this forest. Dense. Um, unpopulated. Green, just kind of flying over it. Mm -hmm. As you're flying over it, I'd like for you to connect with your senses and see what emotion you feel as you fly. Freedom. Let's see what happens next. Where is it that you're traveling to? Let's find your destination. You can either zoom in or zoom out. What comes next? What do you see next? I see me coming down feet first on sandy soil. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Take a look at your feet. What do they look like? They look normal. Mm -hmm. Are these feet wearing shoes? No. Mm -hmm. Take a look at these feet. Describe them to me. My feet? Yeah. Oh. Very good. They just look like normal human feet. So let's see what it is that you're doing in this place. There's people there mm -hmm. on the beach. Mm -hmm. They're, they look like oh, little children. All right. It look, seems like they're looking up at me, mm -hmm. or looking to me. Tell me more. How many do you see? Well, up front is a little boy, and then there's a group to the right. How are these children dressed? <laughs> These modern clothes? Yes, modern. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you do there. Why are these children waiting for you? Trust your first impression. It seems like I'm the boss or something, like mm -hmm. I'm protecting them, or mm -hmm. I'm not real sure. So let's find out why these children are here. What is this gathering place? Where they all come. Connect with your knowing. Trust your first impression. What is this place? Seems like they're here waiting. Mm -hmm. And they're just having a good time until something's going to happen. All right. So I'd like for you now to go to that point when something is going to happen. I'm going to touch your forehead, activate that image. Be there now. What happened? They're, looks like they're loading up into a flying craft. Mm -hmm. They're going somewhere. But I'm not going, mm -hmm. just they're going. What is the purpose for them going on this flying craft? Mm -hmm. Where are they being taken? 
I'm getting that they're special, mm -hmm. but... Why are you there with these special children? What's your role? Seems like I was taking care of them while they're there. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The little boy didn't go. Mm -hmm. Just the group that was on the right loaded up. Mm -hmm. And he's still there with me. All right, I'd like for you to connect with him. And let's find out why this little boy didn't go. He wants to stay with me. Mm. Maybe next, maybe the next trip he'll go. Mm -hmm. Very good. How is he associated with you? I don't know. He's got brown hair. Looks like someone put a bowl on his head. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got blue jeans on, like the bib jeans. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He's not very old. I would say. Uh, Maybe five or six. Mm -hmm. Still very little. Very good. What does he call you? How does he address you telepathically? I don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about what you do in this place. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, we'll get to the next appropriate place in that same time and space. Taking a deep breath in now. One. Going through time and space to find out more. Two. Three. Be there now. What's happening now? Hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. Where is this hustle and bustle? The machine that um, the kids are in, now there's a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of activity. It's like some kind of port. Mm -hmm. And. Can you describe these machines for me? They're longish, but if you would think of a flying saucer, but they're like stretched. Mm -hmm. And th the door opens straight up. You walk under the door when you get in. Mm -hmm. And they just look like buses inside. They just have lots of... Um, seats mm -hmm. like two people can sit on one side and across it's just like a bus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and who's driving these buses there's a man with a hat mm -hmm. what does he look like he's got a white beard mm -hmm. how's he dressed he's scruffy mm -hmm. he's got like a um, suit on but it's like a service suit Mm -hmm. Navy blue. I don't think he's anyone. I think he just is a transporter. Mm -hmm. What do you get from this man? Connect with your emotions. It's just his job. Mm -hmm. Do you go on these buses yourself? No. Nope. I'm stuck on the island or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm there to I'm there to take care of things. Children come in and out and I take care of them. Mm -hmm. Where are these children coming from? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I don't even think they're I don't think they're earth children. Mm -hmm. I think they're 
They look human. Mm -hmm. It's like they've been somewhere else and then when they're ready they're bought here and then when they're ready they're transported to earth. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. I'm probably just making all this up. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if there's someone who can assist you. I'd like for you to call a guide who can assist you with this, who can explain this to you. I'd like for you to hear this guide. Who have you brought forward? It's the same guide in the brown robe. Mm -hmm. So let's find out from your guide, what is it that you're doing in this place? Just I take care of the children. Mm -hmm. Is that your role? Yes. When do you do this? I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. Just I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. That must be why I love kids so much. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where are these children from. I'd like for you to go ahead and give your lips to your guide so that your guide can explain what your role is. I'd like for you to switch now. Good morning, guide. Good morning. Can you tell me if you have a name that I can address you by? Lila? Lila. Very good. Thank you, Lila. Lila, are you Katie's guide? Yes. Yes. Would you be willing to explain to me where it is that Katie is, where all these children are? She's working off planet. Mm -hmm taking care of hybrid children mm -hmm. and she does this in her sleep and it's it's a constant turnover of maybe a dozen children and they love her and she loves them mm -hmm. she's it's an island and she she's the go-to girl she everyone goes to her mm -hmm. with anything mm -hmm. is this an aspect of her that is on this island yes mm -hmm. so this aspect of her does she have a different name on this island or is it still Katie I'm getting Katie. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Lila, tell me more about these hybrid children. Where do they come from? They're, they've been, they're like the future race mm -hmm. and they're part ET and part human. Mm -hmm. And they're learning all about Earth before they're transported out. How do they learn about Earth? There's others here with schooling, and um, they don't have the emotions of humans, mm -hmm. so they're kind of trained to for what to expect, mm -hmm. and eventually they're there will be more of them than humans. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of having these hybrid children come to Earth? It's just natural evolution. Hmm. How long has this been happening on Earth? Long time. But they're not... They're hidden on Earth right now. Hmm. So we won't know who these children are? 
Oh, when the time is right, mm -hmm. when they can be accepted. So how is it that these children make it to Earth? Are they born into Earth, or do they come as children? No, they come as children. They're transported. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about this transport system? They're just little... Um, they look like little UFOs, but they're long, mm -hmm. like buses, and they fly, and someone drives them, and it's like, kind of like, it's very, um, industrial. Mm -hmm. It's nothing fancy. And do these children have names already? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how is it that they come to Earth? Do they go to a family? Are they in a special place? Tell me about that. It seems like they're hidden underground for till humanity's ready to accept them. Mm -hmm. And that there's others looking after them once they get to Earth. Can you explain more about the hidden under Earth? Because I know that there are places, for example, inner Earth, but there are also places that are underneath the Earth. This is this is, seems like it's in the side of a mountain, mm -hmm. and it's more like a bunker type place. Mm -hmm. It's just um, they just have to be patient. Do these children ever grow up? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So when they're in this bunker inside of the earth, in the mountain, how many are there there? I would say it's over a hundred. Mm -hmm. And they're very, very intelligent and smart and they're, they're going to be future leaders. Mm -hmm. But why is it that they don't mix with people, or do they? People aren't ready. Mm -hmm. Humanity's not ready for this. So if they were to come out of their bunker now and mix? That would be very frightening, probably. What would they be like? Do they look human? They do look human, but there's you can tell they're not completely human. Mm -hmm. But, um... They're not very emotional. Mm -hmm. They like to play. They could actually probably teach humanity about joy. They don't really have any problems or anything. Mm -hmm. Their whole life has been about learning how to live on Earth and what to expect. So is there a timeline in which these children will be able to mix? Future. Mm -hmm. Ten years. Ten years. Maybe twenty. It's going to be after the event. Mm -hmm. What is this event that you speak of? Source energy. Well, it's, it's spiritual and it's science. It's finally the two are going to merge. And this light, as in other times when light has hit the earth during the Renaissance, mm -hmm. this is going to be way more powerful. It's going to hit the earth and it's going to wake up human DNA. The strands that they call junk, mm -hmm. those will be woken up. So are we going to feel this event? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this going to happen to all humanity at one time, or is it gradual? How does that work? There will be a light event mm -hmm. that will go through every living thing. But you have to be open to the light for it to 
um, have an effect on you. Mm -hmm. So some people won't like it and will be scared mm -hmm. and other people are waiting for it and they're completely ready. Mm -hmm. But once that happens, then people will be more open to extraterrestrials and everything that's been going on in other planets. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the people who <clears throat> are not ready for it. How will this light affect them? They'll be very confused and scared. And well, they're, they're going to need a lot of love and understanding. Mm -hmm. And that's where um, Katie and all the light workers, that's, they're going to be very, very busy. Mm -hmm. Very busy. What will they be doing to help all of these that are confused? They're going to, once asked, and once these people are ready to ask and open up to new information, they're going to give them the information and <coughs> it's up to them whether to, you know, where the, which way they're going to go. Mm -hmm. it's, to it's everybody's choice. So it's, it's almost like helping the blind see. Is that what it's like? They're going to wonder what's happening to them? Yeah, they're going to wake up so fast and mm -hmm. it's going to be like, almost like a nightmare because mm -hmm. they, they didn't expect it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a knowing that they will have? They'll know something happened to them. Okay. And they just, they, they're very confused. Okay. Very, very confused. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are waiting for this event, yeah, woohoo! We're all waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What will they feel like once this light hits? It's almost like when you die and you transition, you know everything, mm -hmm. and you don't have to die because this light is just tons of new information that everyone's been waiting for. Um, it's very empowering. There will be no more victims mm -hmm. of, the, of the way the earth is right now. No more victims. Everyone will <clears throat> think of themselves. Everyone will love themselves and put what they want first. Not being selfish, but it is their life, and they need to lead it, uh, do what they want to do, and they'll have the um, all with all to carry forth and help others so, as they're doing that. So these children, are they waiting for that moment for them to expose themselves, to come out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because minds will be so open and accepting because mm -hmm. it'll be like a love fest mm -hmm. and right now a lot of people are very very protective of those that say they are who they are we've been we've been programmed how will people be accepting these children as being for real as opposed to fake? Yeah. A fake messiah or something like that. How will that differ? Oh. Well, I... Well, I will, we, will we be able to, to feel them out? Will we have the capabilities of knowing? Well, we always have that capability, mm -hmm. and it's just like you would know if, first of all, I don't know about a Messiah because we're all equal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 
to me, Jesus was not a Messiah, he was our brother, mm -hmm. just trying to teach us. And I can't imagine someone thinking the children were above us, mm -hmm. because we're all equal. You know, on the other side of the galaxy, we're equal. So they will be accepted at that time? Well, I don't know if they can wait that long, mm. but I know that it would be a better, it would be better for them. They'll be more accepted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, right now on Earth, we have a money system. We have ways that we conduct ourselves. And then once this light hits, and you're saying we need to put ourselves first, what will that do to the way that we handle our lives? The monies? When everyone loves themselves, there will be no war. Mm -hmm. If you loved yourself, why would you put yourself at risk? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you love yourself also, how can you hate someone and kill them? Mm -hmm. the, it's it's going to change everything. And money won't be about greed. Mm -hmm. It'll be more about bartering. Mm -hmm. It'll be more about people need to be responsible for themselves. Very good. Now, when this light hits, is this a long-term effect? Will it change us completely, or is it going to be a five-minute, okay, we felt this, and now we're it's back? It's going to take uh, some, it's going to be strong to some, and they will, like, kind of pass out, mm -hmm. but then they'll wake up, and then it will probably take about three days to fully integrate. Mm -hmm. It's it's a process. Okay, it's, very good. It's not like a snap of your fingers and you're a different person. Mm -hmm. And this light, where is it coming from? It's coming from God. Mm -hmm. I keep tol telling God's coming, God's mm -hmm. coming, but mm -hmm. they don't understand. It's the sun. It's the it's, sun. It's the sun. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. Can you tell me a little bit more about how we are connected with our sun? We couldn't be less connected. It's mm -hmm. the sun's everything. I think that's why I say Jesus is the sun mm -hmm. because it's really all about the sun. So, what kind of relationship should we be having with the sun? We should just love the sun and spend as much time as we can mm -hmm. in the sun and don't believe all the cancer stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you can even stare at the sun if you wait till dusk, doing it a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. It's all information. What kind of information are we getting from the sun? Everyone gets different information mm -hmm. uh, depending on where they are. Do we have to be directly in the sun or just outside? Can we get, for example, be underneath the shade of a tree? Just outside. Just outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can get the those, sun deflected. Particles are just floating around, mm -hmm. ready to be picked up. Very good. Are we picking it up with our skin? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why is it that some people are more... Um, you know, susceptible to getting burned by the sun. Could be their belief system. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a sunburn. Oh, yep, I did. Okay. Um, I think that it's best just to put on light, long sleeves. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, anything, you have to do it gradually. Mm -hmm. so. so you can build up yes. to accepting the sun more. Yes. Very good, very good. So I'd like to ask more about Katie's role in all of this. Why has she chosen, or has it been chosen for her, to be the boss of these kids? Let's get back to that. Okay. Um, she's always adored children, mm -hmm. and she's She's her brother's keeper. She, she takes care of everyone mm -hmm. to the point where she's exhausted. 
whoever needs whoever needs something she'll find it mm -hmm. and she'll supply it she looks at every other person as an aspect of herself mm -hmm. so it's like whenever she gives something she's given it to herself but sometimes <coughs> when she's giving too much of herself she's exhausted <coughs> she gets depleted and sometimes she even gets sad what's going on with katie when that happens it's burnt out she's got to slow down mm -hmm. So what abilities is it that she really has, besides being empathetic to others? She's clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. She feels everything, but she, she hasn't, she hasn't learned how to be aware, but keep it from affecting her. Mm -hmm. Would this be a good time for you to teach her how to do this? Or someone who specializes in this? Yes. All right. Can you teach her or someone else? I can. All right. Would you begin now by teaching her about how to protect herself? Okay. I'm showing her how to take a white light at the feet and just start spiraling it up until she's completely surrounded like a golden light mm -hmm. and she should do this several times a day mm -hmm. her her light shines eight miles which is huge she needs lots of protection. Mm -hmm. So when she does this, does she need to send this light out eight miles? No. Mm -hmm. No. It's for coming in. Okay. What does she need, need to do when she's actually working with someone? One to one. Just keep that shield up. All right. Now, we were talking about that before we began, and she wondered why she has to do it several times a day. Does it get eroded? Does it drop? What happens to that shield? It doesn't really disappear, but it needs to be strengthened and fortified. Mm -hmm. And as long as she does it first thing in the morning and then if she comes across a situation she can think of it you know fortify it mm -hmm. but definitely at least once a day all right so perhaps when she uses the toilet would that be a good time to yeah, remind sure her? yeah mm -hmm. very good is there anything else that she needs to do to protect herself from not getting drained She's uh, isolated herself um, because it seemed like she's happiest by herself. Mm -hmm. oh, that's so much drama. Mm -hmm. you know? And then she gets tired of it after three months or whatever and she goes, okay, I need to get out mm -hmm. before I go stir crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, she, you said that she was clairvoyant. Is she seeing things that other people don't see? She saw a creature walking up the road. Was this the sorrel? And yes, it was sorrel. Mm -hmm. Why did she see this creature? Her mind was blank. Mm -hmm. And her third eye is a little bit open, so she's going to start seeing a lot more, too. So these creatures that are coming out, are they on a in a different dimension? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she's actually, she and her dog were on a different dimension. Well, dogs have a very high frequency mm -hmm. and can see a lot more stuff than we can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
it was good because she thought, okay, I'm going nuts. But wait a minute, my dog sees it too. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is she going to be seeing more of these things? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now when we get hit with this light, will that allow us to see some of these things? Yes, and that's um, a lot of people not understand that. So wouldn't that be kind of scary, even though people are wanting to have their third eye open and wanting to see different dimensions? Isn't this going to freak a lot of people out? Well, hopefully their guides will be protecting them. Mm -hmm. They're not alone. Mm -hmm. She also sees a little girl all the time. <laughs> yeah. Who is that little girl? Ariel. Ariel. Mm -hmm. Who is Ariel that's always in her dreams and meditation? It's her favorite playmate in the whole world mm -hmm. from someplace else. Where is she from? She's always with her doing cartwheels and Jesus is watching them laughing. Mm -hmm. I guess they're just playmates. But she's not down here on Earth. Ah. And Katie misses her terrible. Were they both little girls at one time? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. Is there any, any message that Ariel wants to give her? Hmm. She's playing a joy guide. So she reminds her to be joyous? Mm -hmm. She likes visiting me mm -hmm. in the meditations. Now there are times when Katie is not very joyous when she remembers of things from the past, things that have happened that she cannot forgive herself for. What would you like to tell her about that? That's a bad, bad thing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really her fault. She just kind of facilitated it. Mm -hmm. But got to forgive herself or she's not going to be able to go forward. All right. So let's find out a little bit about the players involved in this situation. I'm going to count from five back to one and I'd like for you to take Katie to a time when this was agreed upon. When these players knew what was going to happen. Taking a deep breath in now five Going through time and space. Four. Looking at the spiritual perspective. Three. Almost there now. Two. Allowing the images to come. And one. Be there now. Where are you? In the room. Mm -hmm. There is a very tall ET with very big eyes. Mm -hmm. He's just looking at me. He has a very tiny mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. He's standing way too close. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel him out. What is the reason why you're in this room? He is not very... He's cold. Mm -hmm. He's cold. And very methodic and... Hmm. I don't like it here. Mm -hmm. What is this place? 
I can't see anything but him. So you use your spiritual eyes. You have that light. That energy that expands out eight miles, you can light up anything. Let's find out where you are. I see beds, mm -hmm. like a, not real beds, but like a gurneys, mm -hmm. maybe, metal, mm -hmm. white sheets. God, why is he standing so close? Lord. <laughs> so what is the reason Back why? Back up! Why are you there? Anybody there with you besides you? Just me and him? Mm -hmm. Look at yourself now. What do you look like? Getting anything except for me. Mm -hmm. So connect now, mind to mind, keeping up a shield between both of you and see. He said you shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. What is this place? He's tight lipped. Mm -hmm. Use your abilities to see what happens in this place. You're able to go through time and space. What happens there? This looks like some kind of experiment mm -hmm. place that they... Mm -hmm. They must have caught him off guard because there's no one in here right now but him. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to see through time and space. Get a snapshot of what happens in this place. It looks like um, maybe this is where the hybrid children came from. Mm -hmm. Um, humans, um, donating eggs. Continue going through a film strip of all of the things that have happened here. So you get a big picture. Slice through time and space. Take samples so you get the entire picture. There's a lot of sex going on. Mm -hmm. Like um, between human males and part human females part females yeah they're like they're they're part you can tell they're not human but they definitely look part human mm -hmm. they just it's, it's a little off mm -hmm. this is all this looks like it's all um reminds me of um an abduction, or you know, when people get abducted, this is what they do up here. All right. Until they are brought back. Take a look at the ages of the human males. What ages are they? Thirties. Mm-hmm. So let's find out if anybody that Katie knows has been in this place before. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What is the reason she is being shown this today? Why is she here? 
What does she need to know? What does that have to do with the fact that she cannot forgive herself? Everything's planned. Tell me more. The more you talk, the more you'll understand. A lot of things that we see is here on earth as we see is negative. Um, other places it's They don't have um, they don't have emotions mm -hmm. to oh, I just can't explain. So let's find out why Katie needs to know this in order she so that she can forgive herself. What does she need to know by seeing this? By meeting this ET? I'm seeing a contract. Mm -hmm. Let's find out about this contract. Understand this contract. What is the contract about? This pre-birth contract. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to focus now on the vertigo. As you continue to be green, what's going on with her balance? It's um She has trouble assimilating all these higher frequencies mm -hmm. and it knocks her off balance. Mm -hmm. And by the time she assimilates them and she feels okay, then more come in. Mm -hmm. It's been doing that for about 10 years. So this ver vertigo is kind of like an after effect of everything she's been downloading? Yes. All right, so tell me about these light codes that she's been receiving. Light codes from... Uh, Where are they coming from? They're a gift. Hmm. Are they being activated? Or are they just... No. A dormant gift? No. They're... It's not time. Ah. So can you tell me when these light codes will be activated? She needs to focus more on the readings mm -hmm. and her store it's like it will come when she's ready but she's not ready okay she's she needs to focus um, more on Her readings are sporadic and she needs to do them more often mm -hmm. because every time she does them then they'll be uh, activated all right more so and more 
So these are the, the oracle readings that she does? Mm -hmm. So is this her main modality that she should be focusing on? Yes. All right. Because she has questions about whether she should be doing something else. Is this her gift? She actually can do anything that she wants. Mm. But she's really good at the oracle cards. All right. So what can she do with these oracle cards to activate these codes even more? You talked about the shop. She needs to go to festivals and all any time that there's an opportunity to mm -hmm. read, mm -hmm. she needs to do it. Okay. So can she make a living out of this? Oh, yes. Okay. So she's also interested in opening up a shop. Why is it that it hasn't been realized yet? It's coming. The universe is trying to get all the her desires together mm -hmm. sometimes it takes a little bit of time mm -hmm. she just needs to be patient but it is definitely coming she's going to um, really help the community mm -hmm. that the shop is in she's she's going to be helping people with that are food insecure she mm -hmm. wants to put a little pantry there with free food mm -hmm. she's She's not only making a store, she's actually making a community center, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is really a new idea that people are going to love. Mm -hmm. And people are going to be able to stay there all day and just read books. And she, she's like, the more the merrier. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Does she have to have any other skills in order to do this? She knows everything that she needs to know. Mm -hmm. She's so worried. She's always studying, studying, studying. She doesn't. She knows everything. She, she's ready. Now this place, she's wondering if she has to move to a more populated area to help this store become a reality. She loves her trees. I don't think she'll leave her trees. Mm -hmm. She protects them. And it is a good it's a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I would think what would be best is her to travel to work to the store. Mm -hmm. And she could set up some kind of thing where she could spend the night at the store if she wanted to, but always go home, you know, when she's ready. Mm -hmm. I think that would be perfect. So that could be a home away from home for her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, she has questions about dreams. There's something about a Coptic key that she used on a UFO. Does this have anything to do with this life that she has, this other life, or does, does this Coptic key mean anything? Uh, it's... What is this? It's an aspect of her. Mm -hmm. She's a warrior. Mm -hmm. She... She always resonates, she, even though she's an 11, mm -hmm. she always resonates with eight. Mm -hmm. And e the Coptic key is an eight mm -hmm. uh, pointed star. Yes. And she made that her lock code to get in and out of her UFO. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, you said it's an aspect of her that's a warrior. Yeah. How many aspects does she have that are affecting her right now? Uh, she she had a little glimpse into that one, but mm -hmm. I'm seeing twelve. Twelve. And she's fair. That's I think she suffers from insomnia because she's so busy at night. Mm -hmm. And then she'll sleep really hard, and then the next couple of nights she won't be able to sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm not. So how can we adjust her body? to where she can finally get a good night's sleep, have this body resting while the her astral body is doing its work. What would you suggest? She needs to meditate more. All right. That would really help. Mm -hmm. She needs to start writing down all these She's told you some things, but there's so many. Mm -hmm. um, she was really limited. and She needs to start a, a journal. 
-hmm. and write all these things down that happened to her. How will that help her? It unifies. She's, she won't be fragmented. Mm -hmm. She's always fragmented. It unifies. There's so many aspects to her. She's a great being and she's so pure. It's can you tell me about these soul fragments that she has? Is there any way that we can bring some of them together today? She had a Lyran attached to her mm -hmm. when she was 30 because she called out to the universe for help mm -hmm. because of the abusive first husband. Mm -hmm. And um, that Lyran is gone now. All right. Does she have anything um, else attached to her? Um, Take a look. Let's do a scan on her body. How's it look now? It looks good. Mm -hmm. She's been doing the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's really good and she really listens to her body. Mm -hmm. She knows when she gets off track. So why is it that she's been dealing with parasites for so long? What's causing that? They have actually bored in through the lining mm -hmm. um, and uh, they'll go dormant, but they still come back. All right. Can we find out what's causing that, please? Uh, she feels everything in her gut mm -hmm. and she was never allowed to do anything as a child mm -hmm. and then she married someone who wouldn't let her even go to a movie and it just just kept adding up and adding up and adding up this mm -hmm. plaque it looks like a black cloud in the abdomen so let's take a look at the abdomen and see if those parasites are feeding off of that plaque Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would happen if she were to eliminate that plaque? Change the emotions? What would happen? Would they have anything to feed off of anymore? Yeah, they've gotten a lot better since the Kundalini, but there's still, there's still a lot there. And even though she is almost always happy and joyful to the point where people want to throw up, it's helping, but it's 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 not curing. Mm -hmm. It's it's like um, controlling. All right. It's controlling. It's controlling. Yes. Now we mm -hmm. know that she is sovereign <clears throat> to her body. She has full control of her body. She is the goddess. Is she accepting today to take that role and be the goddess that she is? Absolutely. All right. Now this goddess controls every cell, every mo molecule in her body. She is the one who they live for. There are 30 billion cells that die and regenerate every single day. So let's begin today by having this goddess Give the order to begin making the transformation into her gut region, transforming it into a very, very beautiful place. So let's see. What would you like to tell her to do with this dark plaque?
acknowledge. Mm-hmm. See if she's so resistant mm -hmm. that maybe going the other way. Mm -hmm. So let's acknowledge first that she created this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's take the responsibility for creating this, something yes. that would harm you. Understanding that this was just an experience and to contrast, just like those stormy days that make the weather look so beautiful once the sun shines. Isn't it time to finally put away the clouds? Yes. So acknowledge your creation and acknowledge the fact that you have the power to transform your creation into something else. What would you like to transform this darkness into now? Self-acceptance. Mm -hmm. So by creating that, you need to acknowledge that you are a child of the sun, of source, of God. And I'd like for you now to connect, bringing in that light empowering you to begin the transformation. Tell me what you're going to create it into now. It's the Milky Way. Very good. So I'd like for you to do what you do normally. I'd like for you to tap on your heart and begin to activate your power. Go ahead and physically tap on your heart. Let's activate it. Bring it in. Create the Milky Way. And tell me what's happening as it's occurring so we have it. Nebulas are expanding mm. and Stars are being born, and it's like the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. It's pinks and greens. So as you create these universes within yourself, see how your organs react to it as they are reborn with this new energy. They're relieved. Mm -hmm. Is there any room for anything to be boring into this? To be what? Boring. Boring? Mm -hmm. These parasites, will they be boring into these new creations? They don't like it. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to decide that they'd have to leave. So I'd like for you to give them a decision to transform into light, to go back to source, connect with them now, and give them that choice, okay. full of love. They agree. Very good. So send them with lots of love, send them that light so that they can dissolve into that light and go back home. And continue moving. It's like a whirlpool. Mm -hmm. Funnel. Mm. Okay. Very good. Good. So let's take a look at that part of the body and see what it looks like now. It 
its spine. It's mm -hmm. looking a lot better. Very good. What would make it even better? What can Katie do to keep her body in best condition? She's been gaining some weight lately. She has a gym membership and she should go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Even if she just walks on the treadmill, mm -hmm. uh, does a yoga class. Very good. Very and good. now I'd like to ask the guides, what is the reason you brought Katie here today? What did you want to tell her? She's doing everything right. But she she conducts her life like she lives in heaven. And she's not in heaven. Mm -hmm. She's on earth. She's got to be more discerning. Stop giving all her money away. Trying to help everyone. She's not in heaven yet. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, be a little bit more about her, you know, a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. Good. It's okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there anything else that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her now? Or are we complete? Well, just tell her we love her. Very good. Very good. Completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> you did great. Really? Yeah. Oh, How so long good. did it feel? Um, 20 minutes. Mm. We're on an hour and 27 minutes. No way. Mm. What do you remember? Um, do you remember anything? Yeah. Remember Nano? Mm-hmm. And, um... I remember a bunch of children mm. getting on these transports. Mm -hmm. I remember mm. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Okay, that's okay. How's your body feel? <laughs> He's like eighteen your, years old. Feel like it feel your gut. How does that feel? Feels really light. Mm. Nice, huh? Yeah. Night light gut. Yeah. That feels great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you feel like you're hypnotized? No. <laughs> no. Was... Felt natural? Yeah, I felt very natural. Good. When you told me it was like when I was reading the cards, mm. I kept tapping into that feeling. Pretty much the same, huh? Very much. Very, so very you're similar. You're connected. Very similar. So is this something that you want to share? Oh, sure. We'll take out any personal parts on there. We did well. We did really yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't very interesting, was it? There were some interesting things, yeah. It was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought I'd be your most boring client. <laughs> no, it was kind of interesting. Do you remember anything about the sun? No. Mm -hmm. The sun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> How are you feeling, Katie? I feel light as a feather. Mm, I wonder why. I feel like um, it's almost like an emptiness, but not a bad emptiness. Nice. Yeah, you know, like a clearing. Have any idea like why? Clearing, like have, any clear idea, uh, have any idea why it feels that way? Do you remember any of it? You did something. I don't mm. know. <laughs> you did something. You did something. I did something. Yeah, yeah. So we had a really nice session. Good. I'm glad. I was worried I'd be the worst boring No. You, you remembered something about children, right? Yeah. yeah, children. I love children. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we realized that you were working with hybrid children. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that is, that's why the UFO. Maybe I was like visiting them or something. Yeah, you'll, okay. have, to, you'll have to see it. But uh, these children are being transported somewhere here on Earth, ready for the event that's going to take place. Dang! <laughs> okay, that's awesome! So we talked all about this event, which was this light that's coming that's going to 
um, transform people and the ones who are ready are going to they're ready for it the ones who are not they're going to need some help so right. that's why yep. you, you're here to help them that's right and we talked about your little shop yeah how did you're going to you're going to find a shop but you have to be a little patient, patient. Wait, wait for the right one yeah I guess. yeah okay. how did it feel to be hypnotized it feels like you're so relaxed. <laughs> You've never been so relaxed in your life. Uh -huh. And you go into this like a flow, mm -hmm. a very easy flow. Mm -hmm. And you just have to pay attention at the visuals mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah. And, um, and you do this anyway because... I'm an oracle card reader. She's an oracle card reader. And where are you <laughs> located? Um, we're actually practicing out of Frederick, Maryland. Mm -hmm. That's where we're looking for a building. And we have a website. And so tell everybody what your website is. Website is you are a searchlight.com. You are a searchlight.com. Mm -hmm. So if you want to hire Katie to come and do some oracle card reading, that's what she does. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I got a really nice cheap, gift cheap, from cheap. Her. This. Is really oh, cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show them real nice, and you can see that she has uh, put a, a woman there with a helmet, which means what? <laughs> <laughs> warrior. A warrior, and out of the third eye is energy, and out of the hand. So this was mm -hmm. meant to be what? Me? You. Okay. <laughs> so she makes these, and it's got a little thing on the side here little for, goddess. for your keys. Mm -hmm. And you make these. Yep. You, you, what do you make them out of? I go to Goodwill and um, the Salvage Army, or Salvation Army, and I buy all the wool skirts that I can, and then I cut them up. Yeah, so they make these little wallets for either your cell phone or mm -hmm. uh, whatever. It Anything. Is. If you don't want to carry your purse around, you just yeah. hook it onto your jeans. Yeah, and here you go. You mm -hmm. can put that in there. So mm -hmm. I really like it. Thank you very much oh. for that beautiful gift. You are so welcome. You know, so I welcome. sew too. So when anybody sews things for me, I really appreciate them because I know how much love goes into something like that. So. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com, go to the hypnosis tab under there. There's a newsletter tab. Make sure you sign up for your newsletter. Now that is the only way that I uh, do appointments is I have a very large mailing list. About once a month I put out a newsletter telling everybody where I'm going to have my sessions next and you got to be really fast, right? Really fast. <laughs> yeah. and uh, and like Katie you'll be able to have a session so mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this session I know Katie has to listen to it so that she can enjoy it <laughs> but, <laughs> but I hope I get to beat you sometime soon thank you for watching bye, bye. <laughs> let me have that hug mm. thank you so much you're welcome